I forgot to show you guys outside um because the camera stopped. Oh you African parents don't fear oil. You no, guys we just touch the oil like there's nothing. We don't fear. We got love in our home and that is all you need. Always someone there to hold. No where else we'd rather be in our the finest the family. I've always wanted to like get involved and decorate for the different seasons of the year but living like in a flat it was quite difficult to you know decorate I didn't want to do like inside the house I wanted to do outside of the house so now that we live in a house we have the opportunity and it's something that I really like want to do and you know get the kids involved you know for the different seasons it's just like I see it on Instagram I'm like oh my gosh I wish I could do that glory to God now I can do it so the first thing I got is Gosh, listen, I'm trying to be cute to open it. Let me just open it anyhow, you guys. This is not for aesthetics right now. Okay. I didn't have to get some. Um, I wasted my money getting this on Amazon and it came with one. I should have read the description, huh? Okay. So this is the first. Thing that I got. This is the first item, it's the welcome sign. I'm gonna hang it on the door. I thought it's so pretty, so cute. Like, welcome to my casa. And then, isn't that a pumpkin? Yeah, it's like the autumn colors, you know? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's the autumn colors. And then I got this mat, this welcome mat. We have one outside right now. I might keep the one that's there. This is not what I thought it was. I thought it was like a hard, yeah, it doesn't quite look flimsy. Pink. But we'll see how it looks anyway. It's like, am I in it? Yes, mom. Are you sure? Yeah. And then I got like a few pumpkins as well. I wasn't too sure where I was gonna put them, but they look cute, so I got them anyway. We'll figure it out. Mum, I'm pretty sure that's a pillow. It's a pumpkin. A pillow pumpkin. It's a decorate outside, so I'm going to put it outside on the porch. Okay, so that's the first thing I got. And then I got a green one. Oh. This is literally a pillow. You can use it as a pillow, but I'm gonna, oh. it doesn't go with the aesthetics of your room anyway. So I'll just keep it for next year once the season is up. I've got a khaki one. So you see when it's like December, winter time, you're gonna do something for winter as well? Yeah. Can I do the same in my room, please? You can do that. Yeah. I've got these stones, I don't know where I'm gonna put these. I've got them What's anywhere. the stones for? I have no idea. I've got more, more fake flowers. Petal, should I say? Those are leaves, man. Leaves, okay. My damn English. I've got some leaves as well to add to the, to the and then, I think this is my favourite. This is actually my favourite. I thought that was somebody's phone. Oh, baby Jesus. I got this, um, this lights up. I thought it was actually bigger than this, but there you go. You just dropped a leaf in the bin. That's fine. It lights up, so I need to see how this works. I can see the lights on there. So that's what I got, you guys. And what else have I got? Is that it? I think that's it. Right, so this didn't come with instructions. I need to figure out how to put it together and light it up. But I'm not happy with what it's looking like so far. Get into the colours though, you guys. I'm loving this so far and it's not even put together yet. This is what it's looking like outside right now. So this is the before and then I'll show you guys the after. And I also recently got a paint. I got paint as well to repaint this and make it obviously more presentable and i've got white paint as well to go over that madame nevea in the kitchen she's making lunch for the family today why do you look like somebody dragged you out your bed because i was shopping on sheen and you you love plotting you love so, mommy told me to no dad told me to come and make plantain yes instead of being on your phone 24 7 you need to do something productive. I was shopping. 
That's not productive. You African parents don't fear oil. You no, guys we just touch the oil like there's nothing. We don't fear. Come the, on. The old stove we had at our house, you're always touching the fire to move it. What's up with your fingers? Oh, I'm tired. Do the noise, please. Never, don't, don't splat it in. Don't throw it in. Not one at a time. I know. My goodness. Mummy, be like touching it, touching it. You need to be in the kitchen more often. Mummy. They're all stuck together. Are we going to do two batches? Yeah. You've got to take them apart. I'll put the fire down. Jordan, it's all the tea. Yeah, I'll put it down because the fire was too high. So I'll put it one. It's fine now. So mummy took over because I was doing it wrong. No, yeah, doing it wrong. Always do stuff wrong. Guys, last time when we were in the old house, I told the veil the plantain was ready when she was making it and she didn't want to listen to me and then she let it burn. We had black bird bird plantain. Do you like to leave the things on the stove yes. unattended? Jordan, what are you doing? Stop that, please. Sorry. You like to leave things unattended, and by the time you come, it's already burnt. You need to be in the kitchen more often. Okay? You don't want to start learning how to cook when you're in your 20s. Trust me, it's not cute. I'm speaking from experience. When Grandma used to call me in the kitchen to come and learn how to cook, I didn't want to hear it. I wanted to be outside, playing with my friends, living my best life outside. So when I moved out, and I didn't know how to cook, it was a nightmare. But oh, you did? I learnt along the way, after. So, learn whilst you can, Veve, trust me. Start flipping them. How? The ones that are brown. These ones, no, not those ones. The ones that look like this. Like that one there, you can flip that one. This one? Yeah. Some people like theirs, like, really brown. I don't like it too brown. I forgot to show you guys outside, because um, the camera stopped. Oh my God, I got scared. <laughs> I forgot that I put the welcome sign up. I thought somebody was literally standing there looking through the door. <laughs> Wait, did I open the door? No, I got scared. I forgot that I put that there. Gosh. Um, yeah, so in my head it looked bomb diggity. But once the things came and I put them outside, it wasn't really giving. And also babe made a good point that some of the stuff that I brought is gonna attract the cats and they're just gonna pee all over it anyway, so there's no point in having it outside. Like I wasn't really thinking, but um yeah, so I just put up the welcome sign and everything else, like the pumpkin and stuff. I didn't put it outside anymore. Yeah, it's not really giving what I thought it would give, but it worked in my head, and that's all that matters, okay? Mm -hmm. And this one, yeah, and that one there, you can flip them as well. I don't like mine too brown. Some people like theirs, like really brown. I don't like it too brown. Also. I like my plantain sweets. I have two people coming out to view the property to see what work we need doing and they're going to give us a quote. I have a quote from one other person and I'm not going to lie to you guys, that quote he gave is crazy, it's ridiculous and it's like they're charging that just for labour, that's not including the materials that we need, it's just crazy, like mm mm. I'm at the point where like the way the house looks is starting to really get to me. We are happy with the place that we have, like we thank God for this place of course, but the place ain't done, we don't have no furniture, we're still decorating and it's just like I, I want to feel free, I want to be able to like, you know create content but I feel like my creativity is at a standstill because the place isn't looking how I want it to look. Obviously it's a work in progress and you can't rush these things but I don't want to come across as like ungrateful or anything um, but if I'm being honest this place is like it's just not feeling like home right now so I just want to hurry up and get the ball rolling and just get things done you know so we can you know what's up but yeah so he's coming in about five minutes and then I need to do Nevaeh's hair it's wash day today not excited not excited well let's get our day rolling Give me good. The last guy that came to view, yeah. he gave me a good price, I was happy with it. Yeah. But my wife say someone coming from Hampton. Me. Oh, it's you? Yeah. Okay, I said, okay, let the guy come and we'll see what his price is. Okay. 
I hope yours is better than his. Okay. <laughs> 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 The painting upstairs is done. We're painting someone mm -hmm. in a moment to be painting. Okay. A few moments later. What do you think of um the guy that came? What do you think of his? Yeah, I like his price. Ooh. But yeah, I like the guy's prices. But you find it fishy. Yeah, it's all cheap. Dude. He's just so cheap, I just like... Do, do we think he's cheap because of what the other guy quoted us? Is that why we think he's cheap? But he's a whole... Three, four grand cheaper than... Yeah. Other I'm not complaining. So I said to Bay, let's have him do the rooms upstairs first. And see... Um, how that goes. Because we've seen his work online, his profile. Yeah, so I was saying to Bay to have him start in the kids' room. Then we can judge from there and see whether or not we like his work at least in that way it's not like the hallway it's not the front room where it's the main place that people see it's in the bedroom so but his price is relatively cheap especially compared to the f uh, first two people that quoted what, us do you, do you think it's because i said the last guy that just came yeah, his i was happy with his prices maybe it could be that but we didn't give him a price no when i was talking to him I was no like, i heard you but we didn't say to him what the person quoted us we That's just said the guy gave us a good price. A good price could mean anything. What? Yeah. I'm not complaining. I see it as, again, um, divine intervention from God because, listen, the quotes that we've been getting from the last a few people, it's been crazy. Grands and grands just to do the floor. And that's not including material. Yeah, I like this one. We'll go and buy the material and then yeah, he said we can go with him to buy the material. Let him do it. Yeah. Woo woo! 